Just trying to figure out your shape. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Just trying to figure out a shape. Next car. We did this for the charger, now we had to do it for this charger. Oh, yeah. Every single yeah. thing on it's a chrome bolt. Oh, shit. And we gotta make sure these bolts um, don't mix with those. I know you probably have a lot of bolts around here. <laughs> That's gonna be a lot of bolts. Oh, it's straight it. nutty. Okay. Nutty. Cool. Yeah, so they never took it nutty off. Nutty and squirrel okay, turds. I just need to pull the bolts out of there and seven, seven, order it in for two. an ARP. Yeah. How many bolts did you have to order for the charger? Huh? How many bolts did you order for the charger? Five, five sixteen. Thousand. Thousands? Holy shit. There's seven small pages, but seven pages of bolts for this thing. <laughs> That's just the chassis. That's no body or nothing. There's chassis, motor, and then like all the parts to put, it, put the parts on the chassis. Good lord. Coil over rear end calipers, rear caliper uh, upper bolts. Did we forget to paint the pan? No, we have a new pan over there. We left this on to, to paint. We didn't know if there was fluid or whatnot in there. Mark's gonna order some new uh, ARP bolts for it. A new pan gasket. Five thousand foot pounds. 
<laughs> yep. Five thousand foot pounds. It's looking good. Yep, she's cleaning up pretty good. Spin it around a couple times, get it back on top dead, and stab the busy. The tedious stuff here. Tap every single hole, polish every bowl. They look great though. Yeah, it looks good. Those are out of the way. The chassis, I feel, is going to have to go your way. All right. My main focus is going to be on this here. Yeah, right. So if you watch the, the back cutouts where they come over the frame. Yeah, I think we're good back there. All right. Ready? Yep. Remember, the front could be top heavy on that lift now. Yeah, right. The front could be. Yeah. Heavy. You got room over there? there? Yeah, I got room. Pull back around a little. Get back here. Yeah. What now? Come on now. Okay, ready? Yeah. I got a lot of room on the dipstick. We're going to have to grow back probably a half inch, but I got a, an inch. Good. Yeah, come really on down. Close on this side, back I'm here. getting super close on the. On the what? Hold on. On that inner rocker. On the end of the frame. I still got about a quarter of an inch. I got maybe a sixteenth. You we'll go some? your way. Yeah. All right. I'm just gonna keep pressure on. All right. Come down. Got to go back with the chassis, correct? I'm actually right on the hole. Are you? Yeah. Oh, I'm way it. off. I, so I the ass end of the chassis has to go. Yeah. That'll probably clear me some gap How's on the that? frame. A little more. Yeah, but I'll miss my bolt hole. Oh, okay. Oh, that's slotted. That's yeah, slotted. all right, all right. Let's Yours go is your slotted. Oh, I'm almost touching now. All right, let's bring her down slow. Right? Yeah, okay. yeah, give me a hair down. Wiring shouldn't be too crazy on this one though, right? <laughs> Look at it, dude. <laughs> it's got the same as shit every other car has. Fuel injection, stereo, headlights and taillights, power windows, power locks. I forgot it's fuel injected. They're all the same. All the same. Thing wired up, got just a little more grounds to run. Then I can run one switch power from inside the truck to the distributor and limit it all up. We have a false wall that like flips down. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, so there'll be there'll be a wall that curves around and covers all of this stuff. And then like a big panel, I believe, that covers over the subwoofer. There'll be the same panel here, so it'll look like two subwoofers. But when you pull this panel down, we'll be able to access all this. So this will be boarded off and finished nice. Pull the panel down, and we can access everything that's making the stuff go. So just by flipping the seat forward, we can sit here and change relays, check fuses, get into the computer, all the relays. Everything that makes the truck go down the road and fire up is right here instead of underneath the dash. So if you ever had to change a fuse underneath the dash, you got to lay there and break your neck and break your back and shit just gets hard to do and all the wiring starts getting ugly. We discovered to do it this way. Like I said, once this is all put where it goes, it'll be nice and tidy and clean and very easy to access. On the trucks, we'll put them on the back wall behind the seat. On the cars, we're starting to put them in the trunk, um, along the wall inside the trunk. So you can pop the trunk and get to everything you need to get to without trying to kill yourself. And then in the finished product, you look around on the interior, it's a whole lot cleaner. A lot of wires to make the car go down the road. Definitely makes it cleaner under the dash. Yeah. Yeah, and then like that's one of the places like everybody likes to look like, okay, this is like behind the curtain or behind the closed doors, you should say. So everybody wants to look up underneath the dash and see how crappy or not crappy it is. By getting rid of all that stuff, it makes our under the dash very clean, especially on this truck because the dash is so short and wide open. If you put all that crap under here, it looks like we got a big mess. Yeah, it's hard to hide on these trucks. <laughs> It's gonna look good. Tapping holes again when we're supposed to be working. Get back to work. Tapping them holes, man. Tapping them holes. Reaming them out. I'm telling you, man. How many times do you take them fenders on and off, man? Show <laughs> holes in here. Smooth. He bumped, so nice. he bumped inside the bolt hole. <laughs> Mark, you got bolts? Yeah. Oh, man, the inside is supposed to be matte black. <laughs> This, um, it goes in between them? Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. Just like that. Yeah. Don't scratch it. Mitch will cry. It's still under warranty. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't pay that. Your, t your tears might stain it. <laughs> Scuffle lots over here. Mm -hmm. I polished mine. One way he's, he's been, polish right. just he's been slack and he didn't polish his. Give it the old siddle tune. Can you see that hole? It's hard, man, with all those black ones. Can you reach that one or not? Yeah.
fired her up last night, Timmy Doe. Yeah, I noticed you guys kind of rigged up the fuel tank back here. Is that just a test run it? They got to paint the uh, fuel tank and all that shit. We got to get the bed and the bed wood all put together and put all that shit together and then the tank goes in and at the front wall. So to buy time, we just took the gas tank and made some little mounts. So now we can get it fired up and tuned, drive it around, drive it to the upholstery shop or whatever we got to do versus waiting to the last minute and finding out that we got some big mechanical issues. So now we got some mechanical issues. We got a little bit of window to get them fixed up before the show. So that's what that is. That won't stay like that. That's just a, that's just a tool right now. It's helping us get somewhere. Gotcha. Holy Trying to get all the throttle bodies synced up. Trying to get them all working together. That, uh, there's a lot of adjustments, so just kind of tinker with one and the other. Getting in here is the worst part. Yeah, it doesn't look like you have much room. Nope. Everything, everything looks cool, but it's hard as hell to get in here. Now I need a magnet. I guess they're going to have to leave the windows up. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy mine <is> too. <laughs> oh. What'd you do? I don't know what that was. Don't break the glass. I don't know. Hopefully it was one of your old ass bones. I don't know. I don't know. Don't get my bones out. still need to seat and seal. Yeah. How many minutes you think it's ran? 20? 30 maybe? Yeah. It, it, it ain't broken. It's gonna need some miles. We need no shakedowns. Nope. That one's loose. That one's loose. Yeah. Check and right check. Especially with old people.
time for days to work. <laughs> I bought you. I don't know. That went too easy. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more build videos like this, help us out by liking, commenting, and subscribing to our channel. And it's a little thing to do, but don't forget to turn on those notifications. If you want to buy merch, go to store.classiccarstudio.com. See you next time.